63. Mom says it's got to go. It's got a new top. It's got a new carpet. Floor pans. Bridge and motor. Mom says it's got to go. It's 47. Hudson Deluxe. The egg flathead needs work. <clears throat> kind of hard to find one of these intact. Us boys don't want it. My mom wants a uh, room in the garage for that because it's my mom's garage. That's my brother's now. 71 Impala, vertebral. Rizzo motor, 327. I don't know when the last time this garage was ever, I don't think I've ever seen it clean like this. Um, that's a Caddy. 58. Bumper's been re chrome, but I guess it don't matter anyway. all here. Oh. Ain't um this ain't I don't believe this is ever going for sale. They'll probably just set right here. Cause I don't have time. My brother don't have time. It's a shame because um I know for a fact that's the original. I know for a fact, my dad's the second owner. And this is mine, 38 Pontiac. Pretty rough, truthfully. Let's see if we can get a little daylight in the swamps here for a minute. It's kind of different being here, but it is what it is. I don't know when I'm going to have time to work on this, but I'm going to do something with it. I think after the chopper's done. Who knows? The side curtains are here too. Um, kind of an ugly car. But it's my dad's. Well, it's mine. And, um, looks like it's rough. Ain't never going nowhere. Well, I shouldn't say that. When I'm gone, it'll go somewhere, but not as long as I own it. I think I'm actually going to need some work on it. I don't like how they did the knuckles. I guess it rubs down there. Anyway, they did some butchering on this shit, but um, fuzzy cam probably because I don't have, I can't find my reading glasses around here. I laid them down somewhere. Oh, it's cold out here. I like the separate hood deal. You know, I wish I was a younger guy. If I was a younger guy, I would stick some big coin in this. They have everything re chrome, but I'm not a young guy, I'm an old guy. Um, yeah, I'm an old guy. Car des definitely needs to be chopped and dropped. That's a given. 
I think this, yeah, there's the side curtains. Yeah, I know you can't see anything, but. Uh, like I said, it's weird being out here. A lot of stuff to go through. This is only one garage. Yeah. We all managed to work right there. Got a gas pump. Uh, excuse me. We got a lot of stuff. Anyway. There's a Pontiac 350. It's mine. It's been sitting there for 15 years we built with too big a cam, but it don't matter. It's only money. You can always replace money. You can't replace time. It's all been reupholstered, just never put back together. I'd love to have this garage, but I'm not gonna make myself paint cars in order to afford this. No, because that ain't what my life's about. I want this motherfucker real bad. But, like I said, you get something this big, then you have to work. And then you, your life stops, I think. Then you have to do what you don't want to do, just to have this. I don't want it that bad. I do, but I don't. <sighs> my dad had a lot of stuff. Well, yeah. Anyway. Now it's going to be a garden center. This car has never been touched. I would have to say it's been brush painted once. I'm going to bring the bottle detector over here tomorrow. It's 47 like I said. Um, it's got to pull some money on the net from my mom. She don't need it, but is it for sale? Yeah. How much? Don't know. Am I going to get in the money? No. I don't want none of the money. But I want my mom to get every motherfucking penny she can get out of that son of a bitch. Just like this Falcon's got original motor too. I want her to get every fucking penny out of it. Because there's someone out there that wants these. Maybe not on YouTube. Who cares? Yeah. Would I get rid of them? No. It's not my property. Not my garage. Um, I'm happy for my mom. Man, it's cold. There's one vet. <laughs> There's winter storage. Piece of something, motherfucker. Should I spit some shit out today or should I let it be? Oh, let me go and spit it out. I'm in a pretty mellow mood. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let me go on and say a little something. Maybe it won't air as soon as it should. Maybe it will. Commercial fucking and break. Be gone and state this real quick, like. I am independent. I am solo. I'm not in any affiliation, nor want to be, with any club, any car club, anything. Because when people start dictating rules, and that's why I don't like about society or HOA fees, homeowner association, where somebody starts dictating. That's fine. You're not dictating shit in my life because it's my life. I'm going to run it. When we have a devil's advocate out there trying to run shit, if the shoe fits, wear the motherfucker. Sometimes the truth hurts. Then we have a cash cow out there too. Then we got an arrogant um, young strapping punk. Anyway, let's go and move on to the positive part of this. Oh, let me think. I don't know if there is any positive part to this. Hmm, positive part would be going to finish what you got to finish when you're young enough to do it. Don't follow no man. Um, don't let anybody dictate your fucking life. 
My dad taught me a long time ago, they don't pay my bills, they don't get no fucking say so on what I fucking do. Here's the five Fs, in case somebody just tuned in. Faye, my old lady. Family, friends, finance, and fuck everybody else. Anybody that takes that offense, color me gone. That's what my old man would tell you. And that's what I'm telling you. I'm gonna do my videos the way I want to. You're not gonna censor the motherfuckers. Um, parental guidance. We're done with that gig here. No more. For a second, somebody thought they could control me. Ain't gonna happen, bro. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't got enough money. Never have enough money. And let me just go and say this. Uh, peace of mind. Peace of oneself. Peace on earth. Rest in peace. Bigger piece of pie. Piece of the puzzle. Bigger piece of action. Piece of pizza. Piece of corn dog. And when the big dogs get all done eating, even the puppies get a piece of something, motherfucker. This is what I learned. This is what I learned when I was a kid. You got two guys going to get in a fight. <laughs> it's their fight. Whoever wins, wins. They got a problem, they're going to work it out. But then when other people fucking jump in and kick a motherfucker when they're down, that's some cold-blooded, heartless shit. Because you know what? If you can't stand toe-to-toe -to, -toe to a man, you go, but you're going to kick him when you're down, when he's down, that's pitiful, man. It's a pussy shit. That's some lame dick shit. That's what I think. And that's what took place. That's okay. Show me who's who, what's what. I'm glad that nobody came to my rescue because it made me grow. It just reassured some things out there. Fuck all y'all in the handbasket. And like I said, if you take that at offense, I guess the shoe fits. Wear that motherfucker out. He ain't controlling me. Ain't never going to happen. Nobody ever could. And I don't put myself in a situation where anybody can control me. Because I don't go to jail. I don't go to prison. I pay my own way. Pay as you go, you never owe. Can't pull the rug out from underneath you. That's some words of wisdom for you. Do y'all think this is negative? Nobody put a motherfucking gun to your head to tune into Wild Eyed Northern Boy. And my channel name explains it all. Wild Eyed Northern Boy. If y'all want me to take a brown paper bag and a crayon and write the shit out for you, and you can put it in your pocket and carry it on down the road and pull it out when you watch my next motherfucking video and you wonder why I am the way I am, Ain't gonna change. This ain't no act up over here. This is real life in real time. And this is what's really gonna be said today. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Who knows? There ain't no mood in the kind of light here. All this is about these days. My ma, my wife, friends, family, finances. Fucking end of the line. Cause you can always get some more money somewhere down the line. You can't buy no time, people. Ain't got no time to fucking argue with some bullshit. I ain't got no time. Never did have time, but I got caught up into it. I make a mistake. It is what it is, what it's gonna to be tomorrow. And just hogging, if you're interested in working on my motor, it'd be nice if you get a hold of me. If you don't get a hold of me, then I guess that tells me that um, first thing you don't watch, and second thing you're not interested. And if that happens, that's fine. Um, I'll build a motor myself if I have to. Because um, I don't rely on anybody. That was my mistake. Do not rely on anybody. Ever. Because people will let you down. It's human nature. Even though they don't mean to. That's what I learned today. It's a chilly motherfucker out here. Icicles be coming off my goddamn nose. Anyway. Today is Wednesday. I don't know if you see the movie. The movie. If you see this episode on Wednesday. But you never know.